Hello everybody, welcome to Modern Warfare 3. As you can tell, this is the uh, pinnacle of video gaming. And look at all the fancy graphics, like the circles and the music and stuff. In case you couldn't tell, I was joking. This is still Song of Winter 2 Battle. So yeah, last time I completed a hero story, and now we're gonna do the dark side story. <laughs> had to go out and get this game, by the way. So hard to find. I had to pay like fifty dollars for it because it's just so hard to find nowadays. Had to get the DLC for this game and everything, man. I can tell you, it was hard to find. Now I can finally play it. The dark side story of Sonic Adventure 2: Battle. So, uh, cutscene. <laughs> In case you couldn't tell, I was a joke about the Dark Side story also. It's on the same game as Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, so don't get all mad like, That's not a DLC for, or like, that's not a different story for, like, or that's not a different game for Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. They're on the same game. Yeah, I know it's the same game. You don't have to tell me. I was kidding. Trying to be funny. It's not working. So I'll just shut up. Anyway. Uh, Dark Side Story is actually... Why do I keep saying the Dark Side Story? Just the Dark Story. I guess. Is, uh... Actually takes place before the Hero Story. Because... In the Hero Story, we started off as Sonic, obviously. And, uh... We really... We didn't know a lot going on. But if you play the Dark Side Story first, then, uh... You actually know what's going on because... We'll see what's happening and once we get up on this level. Spoilers! Yeah, I know. Spoilers all around. Come on, get that... Yeah, there we go. So, so, so in the Hero Story, um... We should play that Sonic first. But this time, we we start as Eggman, which is kind of weird. Like, first of all, we get to play as Eggman. Second of all, we start off playing the game as Eggman, so this is pretty weird already. And in case you couldn't tell, Eggman is pretty much controls the exact same as Tails. They're all kind of just what the hell? That spring literally just killed me. It just dumped me into, like, a bottomless pit of death. I always take that way. But then again, I always take that that, that ah, I always take that way when I have the hover boots. Yeah, because Dr. Eggman pretty much gets the same upgrades as Tails. Because they're just, the hero story and the dark story, they're just kind of mirror images of each other. As in Eggman... Plays like Tails, and of course, Sato plays like Sonic, and uh, Roots plays like Knuckles, so they're pretty much the same thing. It's pretty much just more the same, basically, what we're going for here. Emergency, emergency! There's a fat guy trying to break into the vault! Everybody stop him! I didn't get that. Oh, I did get that guy, cool. So obviously you can get a, you can get a lot of points here by riding these uh, rails, but it doesn't really matter because you can get an uh, you can get an upgrade later that uh that uh what I'm trying to say increases the amount of time your laser can stay out so you can target more people. So that's always a cool thing, which makes it pretty much useless to try to get like an A or anything. 
probably get a lot of points in these early missions before getting the upgrade because it kind of doesn't really matter. You're not gonna. I mean, you probably you probably could get an A. I'm not saying that you can't get an A without the upgrade, but it's just not something that you probably make it like really hard. My guess would be. Anyway, I think we're almost done with the levels, so that was good. I mean, all I need to do is just. Oh wait, first, first you gotta go over here. Okay, and then you can come up here. So it's like, oh no, the way's locked. What do I do? Shoot this. And the fire this missile out, and you are done. Yeah, that's the fastest you're ever gonna see Eggman go. Yes. Yes. God, he still makes the yes sound. Oh man, Eggman. Yeah, shut up, Eggman, I know. It's because you got yourself killed because of the spring. I blame that on you, Eggman. You deuce. Anyway, cutscene. Wish for more wishes. It always works. No matter what they say, there's never a rule against wishing for more wishes. Anyway, does this boss seem familiar? It should. It's the first boss we fought with Sonic. Now we get a fight with Sato. Are you kidding me here? Oh yeah, I don't think you're supposed to, you're not supposed to hit him like that. Oh there we go. Yeah, whatever. Oh, you gotta wait till he's done. Shooting rockets at you in order to hit him. Also, you can also hit him when he's about to like hit you with a laser or whatever. Anyway, it's not hard. All you gotta do is just jump at him. Sometimes you can't hit him like this. I don't think you can hit him. Yeah. Yeah, you can't hit him when he's like that in the air. So he's kind of tougher. But not really. I still have a stupidly easy boss. But then again, I guess they have to make him easy. Oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna... Now, yeah, I'll wait. There we go. They have to make him easy, because in case you choose to play the dark side story first, then, uh, they have to make this boss easy in case you never controlled Sonic characters before. Are you done yet? Can I attack you, please? You're just prolonging your death. Ugh. Gotta wait till he lands to do his missiles. Alright, do your missile BS. There we go. That looked pretty cool. 
Of course, Shadow's got a breakdance when he wins. Obviously.